What's going on, world? It's Uplifting Mondays. Guys, please, do me a favor. Please, a huge favor. I need a favor from y'all. I'm asking for a favor from you. Stop being so hard on yourself, okay? Stop being so hard on yourself. Like, what I mean by that, I'm saying that you need to stop treating everything that goes wrong like it's a bad day, a bad month, a bad year. Guys, please. Do me a favor. Stop being so hard on yourself, okay? It be 10 a.m. and you're like, how's your day going? Oh, I'm having a bad day. 6 p.m., I'm having a bad day. 10 p.m., I'm having a bad day. Like, you're throwing in a towel and, like, the day's not over. And it's not a bad day. You have a chance to make anything reverse or opposite, whatever it is. Like, it's not a bad day. It's a bad moment. Okay, stop confusing it. Stop saying that you're having a bad day because it didn't go the way you want it. Stop having a bad day because you got into an argument with your spouse or your family member or your job is not treating you the way you wanted to be treated or you didn't get the grade you wanted to get grade or some whatever it is. Like, stop giving yourself that much negativity that that's controlling your day. So you're confusing yourself. Yes, I'm having a bad day. Uh, because this happened, this happened, this happened, and it keeps happening. I got to deal with this. I got to deal with that. And I'm just going to go to bed. Guys, stop. You're having a bad moment. Okay. So what I mean by that, because I've realized something. I asked my son one day. I said, how was school today? He said, Dad, I had a bad day. It was 3 p.m. The day's not even over. You, you, didn't, even, you didn't even get dinner yet. You, you didn't brush your teeth. You didn't take a shower. Like, you, you, didn't, you didn't do, you didn't, you just did the half of the day already like you only did half of the day so how did you have a bad day guys like and i want i want you to understand this like my son was like dad i had a bad day and like i i you know i just want the day to be over like you threw in a towel and it's like what the first second quarter like you still have two quarters you still have the remainder of the day to change it around like, you're throwing in a towel, and you don't need to. Like, why are you throwing in a towel on things that you shouldn't have to do? Like, yes, there are challenges. Yes, there will be obstacles that's going to come across your path. Yes, that's, supposed, that's what's supposed to happen. That's life. That's a process. Okay, so my son, he's saying, well, Dad, oh, well, I, I, my, my day was bad. It was just bad. I said, so how was it bad? He said, today at recess, I got stung by a bee. Okay, and then what happened after that? Uh, I went to the nurse and she put ice on it. And then after that, I asked for a bandit. I said, What was you bleeding? No, I said, Okay, so I guess that you needed that to satisfy you. Yes, okay, then what happened after that? Did you call mommy? Because I didn't get a call. No, I didn't call mommy. Um, the, the nurse took me back to class. Okay, so what happened after that? Oh, I went to you know, just went about my day, everything was fine. So, so after that, everything was fine. Yes. Okay, so you didn't have a bad day. You just had a bad moment. Just throughout the day, you wanted to, ha you want everything to go perfect, but just that one moment shifted your whole energy throughout the day. Okay, so guys, so I use that because I want you to understand something. There are going to be some things that come in your life that you do not want, accept, and need. Okay, like there. It, it will happen and the problem is that some of you don't want to accept it you have to accept that some things are going to happen there will be some things some challenges that's going to come across your life and that's going to shift you but i need you to change that i need you to get in a position where you say you know something where i'm going towards that's not what i want what i'm doing that's not what i need like i'm going to change i'm going to make something better on myself like and it's going to happen but I know there's going to be some things that's going to shift my energy. I know there's going to be some people that's going to come and try to ruin my plans or they're going to try to uh, uh, derail me. Like there's going to be some things that's going to happen in my life that maybe I can't control. But I can control how I feel, how I take. Because let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't care what she said about you. I don't care what he said about you. I care about what you say about you. And when you get to the point where you don't care about what that person say, that person say, that, I don't care. When you start caring about what you say about you, how you feel about you, how you act, how you want to act, then you're on the right path. 
You're not living for somebody else's opinion or somebody else's verification. You're living for your own. So, guys, stop saying that you're having a bad day, a bad month. This is a bad year. Yes, we are going through some things, and, and right now, the world is crazy right now. I get it. I get it. I get it. Everything that's going on right now, it's like, yo, I just want this year to be over. What happens if it's even worse next year? Or the person that dealt with so much last year is dealing with this stuff this year. You have to keep fighting. You have to keep pushing. You can't just stay stagnant because it's not going the way you want it. You can't just throw in a towel because it's just not what you expected. It doesn't work that way. It don't work. Stop. Get yourself in a position where you can start running and start pushing. Stop saying that you're having a bad day, a bad month, a bad year, a bad relationship. Yeah, now, now, I get it. There are some bad relationships. But you have the opportunity to change it. You have the time to change it. You have the decision to change it. Like, I know there's some things that's going on that's making you think oh i just want to just go to bed and just change my my you know hopefully hopefully that i wake up and it's uh 2021 now what if you go through some stuff some real stuff 10 times worse than this year or the year before you'll still stay stagnant no i need you to start pushing push start pushing we can't be stagnant we can't stop because it's not going way, the way we want. Stop asking for handouts. Stop trying to just get all handouts. It's nothing's going to be handed to you. You have to take it. Take what you want. Okay? Like, that's what's going to happen. And I'm not saying on, on the negative side. I'm not saying take what you want. No, what I'm saying is that you know you deserve to have a better life, have better credit, have a better relationship, have a better job, have a better uh, uh, school grade, have a better business, have better friends, have better family. Like, whatever it is, what I'm telling you is that you have to work for it. Okay? Like, okay, so when I said better family, what I mean by that, I'm not saying, like, like go choose a family. No, what I'm saying is that you need to iron out the ones that's good for you and the ones that's not. Now, I'm not saying go cold turkey and not talk to them. No. What I'm saying is that you need to take those people that's negative and just, you know, put them to the side, high and by. Small conversation. Okay? Like, there are some friends that I have that I can only talk about sports with. Like, I can only talk about sports with, with some of my friends. Okay? Like, but my other friends, I could talk about life, I could talk about my marriage, talk about my kids, talk about work, talk about my business, whatever it is. But I can do that. Why? It's because I knew how to separate the two. But you out there, you telling your business to the world. And now you're talking about you don't got no friends. You're the problem. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't not, you cannot just keep thinking that you go all willy-nilly on some things about whatever's going on in your life to everybody you can't do that like write down all your friends everybody that you talk to on a on on a 30 days what you talk to to someone for a month and that month what i want you to do is i want you to iron out all the people a family family members friends iron them all out and see who's good for you who's not good for you okay like that's 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 your homework I want you to iron out who's good for you and who's not good for you. Iron those out. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put something in your phone where it detects, like, this person's not good for me. Okay? Like like a nickname or something. Whatever it is. And then so you know that you're not supposed to give that much energy to that person. But the other people, you give that energy to. Okay? So that's your homework. All right? I, I'm, I'm, next week, I'm going to be looking for that. All right? So, guys, like I said... You're never going to have a bad day. You will always have bad moments. But it's up to you to make the decision how you handle it. It's your boy Lamar Wilson saying, uplift your minds before you uplift your phone. Peace.